All right, Darla, I'm going to mute y'all and I'm going to turn the music on and tell and give me a thumbs up or thumb down if it's too loud to not or whatever. All right. There we go. And see if you can see me. I hope. Can you see me? Yep. Okay, now about the music. It needs to go up. I hear no music whatsoever. I still don't hear anybody. Maybe somebody else hears music. I don't hear anything. No music. That's okay. We can just dance with you. <laughs> okay. Okay.
Listen, keep one. We're going to do a deadlift. Now you're making deadlifts and carry your hamstrings. Keep your back straight. Squeeze that butt as you hold it back. Hinge it all the way back.
So your lower back is pushing hard against that. Your transverse, which is the biggest muscle of your core, is working. And I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again because I repeat myself because I'm old. No, that's not why. Um, is it's important to work all the muscles of your whole torso and the spine for so many different reasons. It holds everything in. It holds your spine in where it's supposed to be all the muscles and all the discs all right two more exhale press 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 and release press 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 all right we're going to go remember every when i say lever that means either the arms or legs if it bothers you to have a long lever shorten it up okay because we're going to go here try not to pull on the neck cross your midline and if it bothers you, just stay here, okay? Everybody's body is different. Everybody's worked differently. My big thing is I don't want anybody hurt. Yeah, baby, baby. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you try not to pull on that neck or that shoulder. You're crossing your midline obliques. A little bit of transverse, mostly obliques. All right, give me 10 more. That's a one. Last one. All right, pull it up. Okay. Again, if this bothers your tailbone, put something there. If not, tuck under. So again, this is like getting up off the couch. So we'll be able to Keep moving. You're going to feel a little bit in your hip flexors. Remember the hip flexors start behind, go through your pelvic, and go deep into your quads. I know if you needed to know that. Not really. Okay, hold it here. We're going to do side to side, obliques again. Now remember, if this is too far down, go a little further up. Never works for you. Try and be nice. Not always nice. All right, bring it up. Give it a nice stretch. Oh yeah, baby, baby. Okay, we are flipping to the side. You don't have to flip. You're here. Turn that leg in. We're working gluteus minimus, tensor fasciolata. Bring them up. I don't know where our time went. Okay, hold it up real small and press. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give yourself a nice hug. Now you're going to roll over. We're going to do push ups. Now again, if this bothers you, I'm gonna do real small ones. I'm gonna do them on my knees. You can do them any way you want, but they're gonna be very slow. Slow, 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 slow. You can kiss your mat or you don't have to. All the way down. And again, you don't have to go all the way down. 
you go to wherever is comfortable for you. Biggest way, if you go down, you have to get up. So don't go down any further than you can't get up. Please. All right, two more and one more. All right, go to the other side, get the other leg. Don't want to be lopsided. All right, bottom leg bent, top leg turned in, heel up. And hold it up and squeeze. Remember, it can't go any further than this. Now, if you turned it, it could, but that's not what we're working on. That would just be hip flexors. And this is a, another muscle that stabilizes, stabilize, stabilizes your hips, which is important. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bring it in. Nice stretch. Now roll over onto your back, please. Extend one leg up. We're going to stretch the hamstring, working the leg, uh, gas rock all the way up. Take your hands, press up to the ceiling. Try not to lock out the knee. And remember, it doesn't have to be forward. It just has to be stretched. Hip remains on the mat. Take a deep breath, blow it out. Slightly bend, rotate that foot at the ankle and rotate the other way. Point and flex. Remember, I know I've said this in my healthy back class, but it's important to bring it out. Slightly bend, take your uh, right hand at the inside, left to the side, bring it over away, drop that elbow down for support and lengthen, stretching out your inner thigh. But remember, our Everything starts on our feet. So if you've got bad shoes and you keep thinking, man, I need to get a better pair of shoes, do so. Quite a few years ago, I've never been a person that does uh, high heels because I just don't. But of all the shoes I have, if I slip in them, I, I get rid of them because I do not want to fall. And bring it up, bring it down. We're gonna stretch the piriformis. Remember the piriformis is deep, Underneath your butt, it's where your uh, sciatic nerve is the biggest. So pull, take a deep breath, pull, pull, pull. And release, left leg up, flex that foot up into the ceiling. Try not to lock out the knee, just feel the hamstring. A little bit of calf, soleus. Point and flex that foot. And circle. And other way. Bend a little more. Take that left hand on the inside of the knee, the right to the side, bring it up and away. Drop that elbow down for support and lengthen. Bring that leg up over onto the right. Take your hands behind, pull up. Take a deep breath, pull a little tighter. Don't hold your breath. Really stretch out that piriformis. Remember, if you've got sciatic problems, they can start from the hips all the way down to your heel. So take care of that where it's the deepest and the hardest. Okay, bring those knees in. Put your hands at a, a T, palms down, drop them over to the side. And again, if this bothers you, please don't do it. You should feel a stretch from your sternum, chest, all the way out to your bicep and lower back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 
and switch other side. Try to release your air. And roll over onto the side that's been, push yourself up into a sitting position. All right, how much time do we have? One whole minute. Okay, roll those shoulders up and back. Bringing it down straight. And roll. And nice, tall, drop your head to the side. Breathe, drop it down in front to the other side. Head back in neutral, bring it all the way over to the side. This is something you do every day if you drive or even if you look behind you and switch. And it's something that we need to do to keep those liber lubricated in movement. And back to center, roll those shoulders up and back. Use your legs to get yourself up. I'm gonna unmute you, darlings.